an engineering mathematics question based upon matrices we are having this four cross four matrix let us call it a and they are asking us to find the largest eigenvalue for this matrix now how do we find the eigenvalues the traditional way we go for is we find its characteristic equation first let us say this is our matrix a so we will find out a minus lambda i equal to zero with that will be its characteristics equation and then we will be finding its roots the value of the largest root of this equation will give us the eigenvalue for this matrix so let us see how can we do it we want to get this determinant of a minus lambda i and that will give us the characteristic equation so this i is the identity matrix so for the 4 cross 4 and when we do a minus of lambda i then what will that become this is our matrix A and from this we will be subtracting A4 cross 4 identity matrix multiplied by lambda. So what will that matrix look like? As we know identity matrix is having one only in the main diagonal and let remaining all of its elements are simply zeros. So when this identity matrix is multiplied with lambda it will become like this. Only these four elements will be lambda and all of the remaining ones will be zero. So let us write down a minus lambda. So that will give us a matrix. Let us say like this. All these ones will remain one because from them the zero is getting subtracted. But from these zeros in the prime diagonal, we are subtracting the lambda. So that will give minus lambda so it will be like this 1 minus lambda 1 1 1 1 minus lambda 1 and here again triple 1 and minus lambda so this is our a minus lambda i so for this we need to find out the determinant and then get the characteristic equation but as you can see it might be difficult to get a determinant for this 4 cross 4 matrix so let us try to apply some transformations on it some row and column transformations let us say we are doing r2 equal to r2 minus r1 but before that it will be better if we try to get rid of this lambda so let us do it this way let's say r1 equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 that will help us get all of the, these terms together and then we can take out something as common let us see that will give us we are adding all the four so that will give three minus lambda in every row so that becomes three minus lambda three minus lambda everywhere and the remaining rows will be same minus lambda 1 1 1 minus lambda it is 1 and 1 1 minus lambda so now we can take out this 3 minus lambda as common outside so then we will be getting let us write it over here and from this we can also see that if 3 minus lambda is the factor then we can say lambda equal to 3 will be one of the root of this characteristic equation so it is 3 minus lambda times now that will become all ones because we have taken common the remaining will be 1 minus lambda 1 1 1 1 minus lambda 1 triple 1 minus lambda so now here we have to apply some transformations and try to get its determinant so as we can see there are all the ones in the first row so that can be used to subtract from the other rows making them zeros so what we can do is let us say r2 equal to r2 minus r1 from all the rows there are three ones and in this there are four ones so that will be helpful if you subtract r1 from every row r4 equal to r4 minus r1 so let us see what does it give us and 
after we get some number of zeros then we can take its determinant and that would be simpler to handle so this will become the first row stays as it is the second row will become 0 minus lambda minus 1 0 0 0 0 minus lambda minus 1 0 0 0 0 and minus lambda minus 1 so this is what we have got now we can take its determinant because there are mm, a good number of zeros and things will get eliminated fast so when we take its determinant it will be breaking it on this first row how do we take a determinant of 4 cross 4 matrix for let us say for this element we will consider this 3 cross 3 matrix and similarly for the others in the same row so we'll be doing one times determinant of this sub matrix minus lambda minus 1 0 0 0 minus lambda minus 1 0 0 0 minus lambda minus 1 then for this one as you know we do i plus j thing so this one will get plus minus plus and minus based upon the uh, value of i plus j if it is even or odd for the cofactor matrix so doing that when we expand this entire thing and we take the determinant of this then we will be getting the factor as minus lambda minus one the whole cube after solving this entire thing and here we already have this factor of three minus lambda so this actually is our characteristic equation for the matrix and as you can see what are the roots does it have one of its root is three from this and this is having three roots which are minus lambda minus one you will be equating it to zero and from that we will get lambda equal to minus one so that will be the repeated roots minus one each so the largest root it is having is three itself and hence we will say that the eigenvalue for this matrix is also the value of its largest root of the characteristic equation and that is three in this case so its eigenvalue also becomes three and that is our answer